What's up guys, this is Soundwave Jordan here, and I'm back with another video, and this time we're going to be talking about Fallout 4. Now, for those who do not know, I did announce a long while ago that I am I will be following Fallout, Fallout 4 news, and you know, it, was, it was part of my gamer discussion video. It's where I was talking about Fallout and Bethesda hosting their first conference, which I will get to a, in, into a bit. So if you guys want to check out that video, I will leave a link inside the description and inside the video as well. Well, let's get on with the article, guys. We got some big news regarding Fallout, and it's something freaking huge, and I want to talk about it with you guys. So instead of just looking at this awesome image of Fallout 3 box art, let's take the actual article. Let's take on to it. Oh, let me stop this right here. Fallout 4 cinematic trailer allegedly made by Guillermo del Toro Studio. Fallout 4 is set to be revealed through a cinematic trailer created by director Guillermo del Toro Production Company. It will be up here. The news comes courtesy of the LinkedIn page through Video Gamer, for one of the employees of Merida Studios. The artist involved has previously contributed to the Cinemax for the Elder Scrolls Online, Far Cry 4, and Forza Motorsport. Here, here, here's, here's our Merida Studios right here. Um, just a background of all, all things right here. This is just a short article, but you know, let's go. Though yet to be officially not last week's site reported a demo lasting between 20 and 30 minutes will reveal the game at this year's E3. Back in February, Bethesda announced its first ever E3 conference, sending the internet ablaze with wild speculation for the conference purpose. In February of last year, director Todd Howard said there is no official follow-up for timeline, but it's going to be a wow. Has it been long enough? It's sounding increasingly impossible. Now this article is extremely short, guys, and and you know, this is something insane because I'm gonna start off all the way from the beginning. Now all the way, all the way in February, like this article states, Bethesda announced, they announced that they're going to be hosting their first E3 conference. Their first E3 conference. And so many people were throwing out speculation, including myself. And I speculated that there's, they're probably going to announce a new Fallout. Why do I think that? Well, here's the thing. What else, what else, does, what else is Bethesda going to announce? The fact that Fallout, Fallout is their biggest, Fallout is their biggest, and most cherished franchise they have and you know the fact that they're hosting their own conference for this you know and then you know like what why 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 would you host something this big because you know, why like what what other why, why would you do such a thing you know that's just to announce fallout and i know what you guys are probably thinking well they could probably announce um they, they could probably they could probably announce um another elder scrolls or um you know something else but first of all we have the elder scrolls online recently released i believe it was, i believe it's coming out this year for xbox one i know nothing about it so i may be wrong but we have an elder scrolls game recently being released that's online fallout 4 is their biggest title and the only thing that can actually probably interfere with that is probably dishonored 2 because a dishonored 2 sequel just a, a dishonored sequel was in the works and it was being talked about through bethesda and um and they were saying that they're interested in doing a sequel and stuff like that. But you know, even if that even if that is true, why would you host your own conference? Just for Dishonored 2? Nah, that's definitely for Fallout 4. And that's what most people want. Like I, I will be extremely surprised if Fallout 4 wasn't to make it at this year's E3. And you know, it's gonna be something big. So like I said, I think Fallout 4 is gonna be coming out and um like it's gonna be something something to be excited, extremely excited. This is the one of the most cherished franchises in the video game industry. And honestly, I cannot wait to see if it's going to be revealed at this year's E3. So, you know, like like this article states, apparently we may be getting a trailer. And um, you know, like this article states, we may be getting a trailer, a cinematic trailer to be precise. And if that is true, that's an epic way to introduce the, a new Fallout a new follow-up to the, to the franchise. And honestly, it's going to be something freaking awesome, and I cannot wait for it. It's going to be something we're talking about. It's going to drive the internet crazy. We have a whole bunch of awesome games being revived, such as Mirror's Edge, Star Wars Battlefront, Kingdom Hearts, um, 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 Fallout, and the next game's going to be Half-Life. <laughs> Bob does not know how to come to three. That's besides the point, though. Anyways, guys, yeah, this is something freaking crazy. Fallout 4 has been announced, and... There was also some rumors last week. I didn't make a video of it because I was extremely busy regarding school and stuff. But there was a vi there was um, a couple videos and reports last week saying that Fallout 4 is being rumored is rumored to appear at E3. And once again, that set the internet to get crazy again. Like you know, Fallout 4, man, Bethesda. If you if, some, if somehow you watch this video, please announce Fallout 4 because oh my gosh, if you guys do not announce Fallout 4, I will be so surprised. You guys have to announce Fallout 4. But um, you know what? But like, what else can it be though? 
We got room, we got we received rumors last week that Fallout 4 was going to be appearing at E3, and Bethesda is hosting their own conference, their first own conference at E3. Like, what else would it be? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you guys think about Guillermo del Toro's Guillermo del Toro studio working on Fallout 4 cinematic. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. You know, this is this is just a quick video. Sorry that I'm late. I got to home. I got home not too long ago. You know, the busy lifestyle, dot, 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 Blah. But, um, yeah, like I said, let, let me know what you guys think about this. This is something huge. And honestly, I cannot wait to see more news regarding it. But it's time to wrap this video up, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys would like to, leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you like drama content. and will enjoy any other future things. I upload gaming news. I'm currently following Fallout news. So, if you guys want to check, if you guys want to check out all that Fallout 4 news, hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. I'm pretty sure they would like to know about the cinematic show regarding Fallout 4. And um, that's about it, guys. That's about it. All up for man. I cannot wait. <sighs> well, guys, thank you for watching once again. I really appreciate that you guys are keeping up with my videos. It means a ton. Anyways, this is Stanley Jordan here. Peace. Late.